Yeah, it should be recording. It's a test video, kind of. Um, I have to see if it's recording. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, it's okay. It's recording. All right, holding a lens on here just for the part of the testing purpose. And um, <coughs> you know, I've done an earlier video uh, before I did comments uh, with this camera just to test the camera, but unfortunately it was picking up the sound of the gimbal, like electronic noise. So, I have to, you know, I guess I'll have to wire an external mic into it or something. But, uh, that might not work out, so maybe I'll just do videos where I talk over the video or something. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. It has some use for a cheap $10 camera. <laughs> and, um, uh, knockoff of a knockoff kind of a thing. Yeah, it's like a knockoff of the GoPro, but it's the knockoff of the knockoff of the GoPro. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> it's uh, it's the right weight for the gimbal, and uh, you know that stops jitter. But I can, it's not going to be of much use for a walk and talk unless I put an external mic on it, and then I take it apart and wire the mic into it. And anyway, <coughs> I'm not going to get around to that tomorrow. So, um, yeah, anyway, yeah, it's not great. I mean, it doesn't get colors quite right, and it does a few things badly, and the focal length kind of sucks. Let me see if holding it at arm's length it might work. But I think it's still a little too, so I think I have to add this uh, lens, and then it has to be just right, or it doesn't work. But anyway, uh, so, it gives me something to do, right? Like I don't need things to do. Anyway, I was trying to do something. Well, anyway, it'll have purposes. So I think I can, you know, it comes with a little underwater case and, uh, you know, for $10, what the hell. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't have to worry about it getting ruined. And so hopefully I'll be able to get some some video of some things. But we'll see. Uh, time will be the only real issue. So anyway. Uh, so anyway, just explaining, I had a, a pre-video to the video, but it was just, the audio was just a little bit too annoying, so I had to scratch that. Even though the audio on the camera isn't bad, it just uh, picked up the electronic noise, so, anyway. I don't know whether that's a <coughs> defect in the microphone, or whether it's actually picking up the noise on the circuit board, and that way I can't really fix that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not your problem. Uh, <laughs> so... I, I'm with the um, comment video of uh, dubious quality, but it'll have to do. Yeah, pretty much. All right, that's enough. Testing. I have to do that now and then. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really have to, uh, but it is something I do. Uh, I, you know. keep hitting the stop button and it does ah back I think <laughs> yeah now hand holding the camera and such and uh, hopefully not blocking the sound or something but yeah this was the picture I had of the fly and uh, you can't see the praying mantis because he's covered by desktop items but, you know he's just from there to there and the fly is big big <laughs> yeah anyway uh, all right, so let's do some comments. And, um, eh, you know, we'll see. Uh, again, I, I don't know if there's much to say. I can't, I can't argue with the people who think there's such a thing as chaos theory, and think that even makes sense as a combination of words. You know, I don't think so. Um, <coughs> so some idiot, the white wolf. You know, I might as well just, some of these people, it's just, I, I'm really kind of done. You don't make arguments, you just say trite, silly shit. So, wow, thanks, Gary. <coughs> no, the world is a good place, thank you. I don't know, it's not even relevant, so, goodbye. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just no good choices, so we'll just say hide. That'll have to be the fun. All right, well, he's just li listening to Sam Harris, who reminds me of what an angry person you are, and what a terrible, terribly prosatic, 
uh, one-dimensional mind you possess. You, you, know, you back that up with something new. Uh, yikes, dude. See, he's a dude sayer. You need to get out more amongst your superiors. Sure, Frank. <laughs> Goodbye. It's not an argument. Ugh, useless shitheads. I mean, these are just wasteful distractions. These people aren't actual people. They don't have actual icons that have actual... that don't aren't offensive in some way or stupid or silly. Uh, they don't wish to represent any kind of um, cause or thought process or ideology or theme. They're obviously only interested in being um, vogue wearing makeup <laughs> yeah they're like little sissy girls you know getting their first fingernail kit uh, all right finally someone has the balls to say it but i thought google gave free haircuts keep on keeping on well that's a google sucks video but anyway yeah fuck you it's okay for women to have the right to hurt men's feelings, but men don't have the right to hurt women's feelings because men have a penis. It's not about hurting feelings, asshole. It's about discrimination. And if you don't get that, you're pretty dumb. How is that equality? If you want real equality, stop treating women differently than men in the first place. So well, again, I'm not advocating for a different treatment. You guys are. You're the one saying you have a right to rape them. <laughs> you know, that if they, if, if they seduce you by wearing a mini skirt, that they're obligated to serve you. That's what you're defending. That's the culture you're defending. Thunderfoot said it, jackass. He said a woman isn't raped unless she goes to the cops. So I can only wish it on your mother and sister, you fucking cunt. So, yeah, goodbye. Fuck you. Whoops. Wrong choice. <laughs> Always approve. No. Uh, fuck off, Mackie. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Until something from the outside fucks with me, I'm not fuckable. Genius. Well, I, it's not really a genius because, in a sense, they got fucked previous. So, you know, again, we're. The argument isn't that the universe has some guiding machine that's playing chess. The argument is, is that the only mechanism is that the pieces are all required to move. Like every 10 seconds, each piece has to move. And it has, like the horse can move three ways. And well, its decision to move one of those three ways, let's say, will be decided whether there's some other piece on the piece, or by A, B, C, or any, mini mo, miny, mo, but it's going to happen. It'll be through some mechanism. Nothing does anything chaotic. Quote, unquote. Alright. <coughs> so the asshole I already blocked, I think. Um, what not to hear? What if your assassination was a good thing for the majority? Well, again, I've never argued that the majority interest is the only vital interest or real interest. Is the camera still on? Yeah. Um, would I, <coughs> so, in the best interest of all sentient life on Earth, I would argue, is the standard. And clearly, there could be things very detrimental to me that might be in that interest. And I'm saying I'm really not equipped to make an argument um, that if that circumstance came up, that I would bail on the obligation. I've already made videos saying that if, if you could um, crucify me, over a 10-day period, and then hang me on a cross, and I die. And it would cure uh, childhood leukemia. I'd have to say do it. I, you know, I wouldn't want it to happen. I would be whining and crying and bitching about the whole thing all the way through, but I'd still say you have to do it because it's logical. I mean, my short-term pain is, you know, going to prevent so much long-term pain that it would just be economical. So, you know, I've already made these arguments. Um, you see, people want to make babies, you, and you don't like that idea. Getting rid 
of you would make the world a better place for them. Uh huh. Would that be a good enough reason? L O L. Yeah, if they could make a logical argument that they're going to prevent harm by making babies, then I would agree with their argument. But that's not their argument, idiot. You really are a fucking idiot. <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus. These people are so stupid. Um, oh yeah, this guy already got rid of. You're such a cuck, bro. I mean, a guy who has one of these idiotically long names. Jason, blah, blah, aunt, uncle, who fucked him in the ass, and donkey, dick, cry. Who, who would do that and think, oh yeah, I'll sound credible. People will listen to what I have to say. People that are smart will do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think people who are smart will do that, fella. Really dumb. Let's see, my woman named Moon Cookie knows how to cap a man satisfied. It says K-A-A-P. I don't know what that is. K-A-P-A. A man satisfied with food and housework and massages. See, see, this is the thing, you know, the other asshole who's talking about what these people, these people don't, they're obviously not arguing for um, a mutually respectful, um, um, complimentary relationship with a, a, the opposite sex. They're obviously looking for a servant, a slave, a bitch, uh, to take care of their needs. Their job's important. Their career is important. Their ambitions are important. And the woman's there to tie their shoes and massage their feet. Fuck you people. All right, then this this individualist. I don't know what that means. Oops. Hey, how come the screen's not on? <laughs> ah, there it is. Hi, screen. I couldn't see you. <laughs> yeah, I guess it saves. I guess it turns off automatically. Okay. So I'll turn off the screen to just waste the battery, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, the mystic will need to make trouble for you, moron. Uh, and I wish he would. I, I just wish it would contain an argument in it. Like some kind of argument explaining how what I'm saying is outrageous. That somehow evolution has a, uh, has a process to it. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not a direction we can see the exclusive direction, but we know that it does have um, huge restraints on what the outcomes are. And um, certainly it's it's going to be made of what goes in. But again, if we could actually see the process as it was happening, we could certainly commentate on where it looks like it's going. And that would be part of the process of not going to bad place. If I can point out you're heading for a brick wall when you're driving, I say, look, the brick wall. Do you see the brick wall? Look, look, look. There's a brick wall. Do you see that? Then you don't hit the brick wall. Duh. I mean, is that too complex? Well, apparently it is for these idiots. So I won't block you, but that's, you know, fuck you, asshole. All right. I flooded the engines. Oh, yeah, no. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, whatever. Um, brains need to be infected with the right ideas. Uh... So this is the Elisa Lamo kook. <laughs> and who exactly decides which ideas to spread? Nobody decides it in the sense that the decision sort of is made inevitably over time by what I'm talking about, this logical standard, that intelligent ideas usually will win in the end. Now, obviously at this particular moment in history, the religious kooks are breeding, so they're making lots of religious babies. You know, people that start off religious anyway. And we have idiots like Trump as president, so it's not a very good time to talk about human intelligence. But there has been progress, huge progress, through the acquisition of knowledge and understanding. And no one's deciding except better ideas will win in the end. The more accurate ideas, I would argue. Who gets that awesome responsibility? So again, you just, you can't pay any attention to the subject at all. 
your rhetoric reminds me of little Edward Barney's, whoever that is, and that even might be too complimentary. <laughs> Irrelevant reference much. Um, for the illiterates who watch your show, oh, it's a show, huh? Oh, and Edward Barney was the father of PR. So there was an actual father of what? Propaganda? <laughs> yeah, or public relations. And worked to turn, and worked with the turn of the century industrialists, including uh, cigarette and alcohol companies, to create ad campaigns. Oh, gee, isn't that so fascinating? Why don't you get into the whole Freudian stuff? That's a conspiracy theory, too, which utilizes subliminal... <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really... You're, you're just a little conspiracy nut, aren't you? And uh, people don't like cigarettes because nicotine's addictive. And people don't like alcohol because alcohol's addictive. No, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, wait, anyway. Establish brand loyalty. Right, exactly. It's willing to be a modern-day mass marketing and political campaigning. I, I mean... Wow, it's just so complex, giving people what they want. Um, dressing the way they like you to dress, or doing something else to seduce them. Nobody could have figured that out. Nobody could have figured out putting a girl in a bikini on top of the car. That's way too... That's Oh, you need a sophisticated, conspiratorial, evil mind to figure that out. And when I say illustrates that watch your show, I mean, everyone that watches it. Well, again, the idea that you're calling it a show means you really don't get, <laughs> you're not paying much attention. Obviously not a show. Uh, any <clears throat> Anyway, as I was saying, Barney's advocated that his brand of Freudian, hey, look, here it is, Freudian, she, she actually is one of those nuts, mass media tactics can be, so you just watch these silly, documentaries that, uh, you know, slant and bend facts, you know, to create little, little silly narratives that, so you can all blame it on Barney. Uh, means the government elites to control society. Uh, they obviously can't control anything. The, the elites are stupid motherfuckers, as Donald Trump is pointing out. You can actually learn more about him and other topics. Well, no, I know, thank you. I mean, I, you know, all these are individual comments, so you're you're actually done on this channel. I'm I'm just quite sick of this. Um, you need to dominate everything. Uh, wise ma madness, I've also gotten rid of again. Uh, let's see. And when I say it illustrates that, watch your. I mean, I don't know what that. It's not even a sentence. I mean, anyone who watches it, <laughs> I guess they it should point out how. The person talking about illiterates is illiterate. <coughs> illiterates that watch your show. I mean, everyone that watches it. Does that include, uh -huh, you, LOL? Uh, let's see. So, yes, you stepped in her own mud there. Um, more like skim it. So she skims videos and then makes 7,000 comments on the video she skims. So even that's going to be a losing argument, you twat. Well, we're not, this is a whole bunch of crap, so we're not going to play along anymore, so you're just, you're done here, so, fuck off. Uh, so here's the other, uh, more, uh, one solid comment she made, uh, and this one might be the good one. So it's Laplace's demon is a metaphysical impossibility, as well as incoherent. Well, I'm not arguing that any demons are running the universe, wacky. This whole determinism versus free will conversation, it's really not, it's, it's about, it, it, me and the mystic agree <laughs> there's no free will. The argument is feudalism and fatalism versus determinism. There's nothing in the rules of determinism that negate the fact that human beings interact and change each other. And so those changes can be positive and negative in terms of the outcome they affect and that we can see that happening. We can see the car heading for the brick wall. I can turn to the guy next to me and say, we're heading for a brick wall, and somebody can change their behavior in the sense that they weren't going to turn the wheel 
but they will turn the wheel because I just informed them there's a brick wall coming right for us. I mean, fuck! That's the argument, you dumb bitch. Uh, it gets tedious when people start making these arguments about, well, if we could know. Well, the truth is we can. We can open our mouths and say something, or we can say, I'll just stay quiet. I can go out and fight, or I cannot. I can go to war, I can sit on the couch. These are all kinds of things that we will make a decision. And we'll make a decision based on what everybody kind of says. Now, if everybody says, you're a stupid, skanky cunt, okay, and they say it loud enough, maybe you'll start paying attention. Yeah, but we live in a world where complexity equals chaos, equals Godelian undecidability. So anyway, the, the word complexity equals chaos. Does any retard think that's true? I mean, have any of you retards thought about what you're saying? Complexity is order. That's what makes buildings work, is that it's not a chaotic foundation. It's an ordered foundation. The space shuttle flies because there's not chaos, because every bit of the complexity, every little switch is simple, but they're all connected very intricately. Not with chaos. There's no half of wheel. Let's put a half a wheel on the space shuttle. So when it lands, there's only, we only need one and a half wheels. There's no half wheels, retard. No chaos wheels. If you've studied chaos theory, why would I study something that doesn't make any sense? A theory, in its very, by its very nature, is already something unchaotic. A theory is the collection of words <coughs> into an ordered arrangement explaining a, a, making a statement descriptive of something. It's a very unchaotic thing. So why would I, why would I think there could be possible to have chaos theory is I've already broken the idea of chaos theory by having a theory dumbass man you're dumb maybe you don't understand where I'm coming from where you're coming from is truther central loop de doo nutcase um, you know the cross streets of kook and fucktard in any case La process demon is a physical impossibility. Well, again, I'm not arguing for any fucking demons, retard. So talking about it like it's <coughs> like talking about Cartesian duality vis-a-vis -vis philosophical zombies in that merely being able to imagine something is not the same as the thing existing or even being well defined and it's incoherent to posit the existence of that whose existence is predicated on the manufactured authority to the observed world. I don't even know what that could possibly mean but it just doesn't, you don't make reality, reality exists, you can accurately describe, inaccurately describe it and it's clear you're incapable of accurate description. Any argument which ignores this is by default circular. Well, it seems your arguments are all straw men where they assume I accept some stupid notion that because I'm arguing that our collective interaction will be by the rules of the chess game, whether we like it or not, and that that creates order in the end, we figure out 2 plus 2 is 4, uh, and the theory that 2 plus 2 equals 5 dies, that's what happens, and that's what will happen inevitably and always <laughs> in the experiment. Um, that I'm not implying a homunculus or some other thinking thing. I'm arguing that that's how our physical evolution took place by those rules, and that's how the memes of philosophy will also evolve. People won't get dumb like you. They'll get smart like me. Fucking idiot. Alright, so Porky Longpig, who you can also go fuck yourself. I'm done with you. 
Uh, killing 10,000 turtles with a knife would be exhausting work. No, it really wouldn't be. But anyway. Especially if you were killing them just to kill them. Well, the argument was you're killing them in defense of your existence. You're making the statement that you are worth it. If you were going to make soup for the soup kitchen, it wouldn't be so bad, but would still take many days. Well, I don't see why it would take many days. I guess you don't really understand. 10,000 isn't 10 million or 10 zillion, you idiot. Dumping them in big vats of scalding water would be much more efficient. Uh, I make the same argument that that's what <laughs> creatures like you should have done to you. If they were just small baby turtles, you could probably get the job done in a day or two. So I'm supposed to trust the arguments of somebody who logically thinks it would take a day or two to boil 10,000 little turtles. You're pretty dumb. I'm just saying 10,000 turtles is a lot of turtle killing. No, it really isn't that much. The point is it's a lot of little suffering lives ended uh, in a brutal and harsh way. And yes, nature will do that all the time. And the argument is, is you think you're worth it. And I'm arguing you're not even close to worth 10,000 turtles, let alone all the kids who get cancer and all the people run over by drunks and all the other pains and sufferings and horrors and miseries that take place on this earth. You're not worth one of them. You're not worth suffering this much. Um, you're a petty, sick, little, turdy troll who can't do anything decent. Apparently you like to lick things. I tagged along with some <coughs> trappers hired to get rid of this rancher's feral hog problem once. They came upon one of their traps with five or six adult hogs in it. In the closed confines of the trap they were easily shot dead. All headshots with 22 caliber. Well, whether it's a headshot with 22 caliber in the head, I've seen a cat shot with a 22 caliber in the head, and it took four bullets. Did not have to waste expensive ammo on them. Problem was one of the sows had had a litter of nearly a dozen little bastards. Who's believing this? Holy shit, what a hassle. They were at the age where uh, they may have been able to survive on their own, so we couldn't just leave them to the mercy of nature. No one had a club, so they couldn't shoot the baby pigs. Um, this wasn't a baby seal hunt, so we ended up improvising and using large dead oak branches. You had to use more than one branch from a nearby tree. Thank God nobody filmed the ensuing carnival of gore because I honestly believe we may have been broken some kind of animal cruelty law. See, so he's proud enough of this to recite it as defense of I'm worth it. Well, my argument is you're not worth it and this was a trial the judge would be mocking you. Ever since then I have been sensitive to the practical question of killing large numbers of small animals sensitive how? You don't seem to show any of that. So what you are is done here. So goodbye. Um, and some idiot always off subject. Imendum, should I study computer science or mathematics in college? Well, neither one of those subjects is narrow enough to be of any value whatsoever. So, being a mathematician in general context I think it's like being a historian or something. Absolutely useless. So yeah, pick an actual subject and then learn the math relevant to that subject. Yeah. Computer science is just too vacuous a statement. <laughs> you know. Learn a good programming language <coughs> and that'll probably do a lot more good. Ah, uh, let's see, and Mendham wouldn't know, but you should. Uh, you didn't answer his question. It was college or science or mathematics, computer science. 
Uh, let's see, mathematics major, a computer science minor would be my suggestion. No, my suggestion would be an actual subject like architecture or engineering or physics or something, chemical engineering, something. You gotta be more specific than that kind of shit. If you if you take all that general crap, you're gonna end up learning a lot of shit you'll never use. Anyway, let's see. So even this <coughs> Alexander Zaptia guy is an idiot, apparently. Uh, let's see. So I believe he greets me in this first part, and he says, "Someone has to bump into me for me to change." Is a bad idea to argue. Well, I wasn't really talking about physically them bumping into me, but I'm just saying that quite obviously, our whole lives, every bit of knowledge we gain, we gain because the world imposes it on us. It isn't self-generated. We're not self-generating our image of reality. Reality hits us with photons and fireballs and all kinds of shit. Bug bites. All kinds of shit. That's who we acquire knowledge of the world. Dumb fuck. It's not necessary for a second person to affect one. Yeah, it is. Uh, you don't even speak English without their help, idiot. Though, oftentimes, is much, much easier. Well, I'm just saying it's necessary in every respect, you dumbass. To think one needs a second person is not much different than the princess waiting for the blue prince to rescue her from the castle tower. So, I mean, you're the one that chose these silly analogies and this insulting rhetoric, fuckhead. So I'm just going to give you what you deserve, fuckhead. That's the silliest comparison in the universe, dumbass. How does that have anything to do with gay people gaining political knowledge of systems? How does that have anything to do with the um, arguments that take place all the time about political ideology? That's vacuous drivel as a response to the necessity of those arguments. One should not philosophize to excuse one's perceived flaws. Whatever that implies, fuck you. God, I almost feel like blocking you. Though it is <laughs> what much philosophers do. Well, fuck you. You seem to just talk out of your fucking ass, douche. Uh, philosophical schools are just personality cults. Well, again, those kinds of trivial and trite, cliché kind of statements are so useless because that's not just what they are. Yes, some of them are dominated by personalities, but no, the actual study it does include reading a few hundred books, usually. Well, Nietzsche and, uh, you know, Hume and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So that's just crap as a statement, dumbass each with their own set of interests and rationalizations. Still on? Yeah, the camera's still on. Appears to be. Uh, so apparently somebody said something to him. Oh, Alan says, Alexander Zapta, hmm, if you think I need correcting, do tell. And so he I apparently corrects him. Uh, Alexander Zapta, nah, I <coughs> was not my intent, although I would amend a bit regarding your critique on someone has to bump into me and so I guess he's going to make the argument of something relevant to solitary confinement and then he says yeah I'm not advocating for solitary confinement but you're apparently advocating for mystical self-creation we don't create ourselves newsflash asshole you didn't make you the assholes around you made you who you are you didn't do shit you're a byproduct asshole you were shit by your culture okay you were shit by this time in history. You were shit by your TV and what video games your family could afford. All that crap shit you, shithead. You're not some self-creator. <sighs> so anyway, I hate these people. I hate, I hate people. <laughs> it's really a simple. I, mean, I do hate you all in some way or another. I wish the world just had Gary's on it. <laughs> you know. But, you know. Tits, maybe. Some of them.
Anyway, um, yeah, so that's enough of a test test video. Yeah, I'll call that a test video. Something like that. Anyway, till next time. No, I hit the button, damn it. <laughs> you know, and it didn't turn off again.